Salesforce security, sharing sets and share groups. These are for customer community digital experiences. Welcome to another episode while we dive into Salesforce security. Today we're talking about sharing groups and sharing sets. What we have is these are two mechanisms that are in place to work with customer community high volume users. These are user licenses that do not have access to the share table the hidden share table that we've been displaying in some of the other sessions. So because they don't have access, you can't create criteria-based rules, you can't create apex rules or owner-based rules. All of those rules will not apply to use customer community high volume users. So there are two mechanisms that are used. One is sharing sets that share records with these high volume customer users and share groups which take any records created by these users and then make them available internally in the role hierarchy. I'm gonna walk you through the setup of both and a little demo of the sharing sets. So we're going over sharing set number six, share sharing sets and share groups. And we're talking about record level visibility, the mechanism to control if a record is visible or not to a specific user. We're assuming that the user has object level access some mechanisms are out of the box and some are by code. We're talking about configuration and we are specifically talking about licenses that are effect that do not have access to the share table. These are the customer community high volume licenses. So these are mechanisms that can affect sharing that directly relate to the customer community high volume users. So the two ways we're talking about in my set of sharing is sharing sets where we're sharing records with customer community high volume users and sharing groups where we have records owned by customer communities and we need to share them with internal users. So a sharing set allows us to take any record associated with the count or the contact that links. We're talking about a customer community. So on a customer community, that community user has a user object, a contact object, and an account. What we can do is grant access to those linked re those records linked to the contact or the account, and we define that in the sharing set. It's useful because it allows us to give them access to records only linked to their contact or linked to their account. When we get to share group, it allows us to take records owned by high volume and share them. And that way we can take these high volume users, which don't exist in the standard role hierarchy, and we can make them available inside of Salesforce. So let's take a look at this. So right here is a customer community digital experience that I put together for Bart Simpson. And Bart Simpson has no access at this point. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object, we're gonna link it, and we're gonna make it available on this old uh, portal, Visual Force portal technology stack, it would work the same with a more modern digital experience, but the tabs are really easy to work with. So let's take a look. So I'm going to create an object here, custom object. And just to follow along previous paradigm, this is going to be an airline training record. And we're going to give it an auto incrementing number, AT, and start with a number one, and hit save. Now what I'm gonna do is take the fields and we're gonna link it to the account. So we're gonna do a lookup relationship to the account and we're going to call it the airline. Now I have a profile. We're going to stay with profiles called the pilot user. What we're going to do is grant them ac access to the pilot user. We're going to drop it on the layout and hit save. Now we're going to add another field. Let's give it a pick list. And we'll call it the type of training, just the type. 
and we'll go orientation. Now we're going to decide that we're going to look at the, the pilot user and we're going to give them access to that field. Now, if we go to sharing settings, I'm going to double check and we just created airline training. And it is public read write internally, but it's private externally. So that's good. Now, because I'm using uh, old uh, Visual Force tab based community, I'm just going to create an object tab. This is only just because of the community type that I'm using. And I'm going to go airline training. Give it, I'll give it this little airline icon and hit next. This has nothing relevant to my choice of this old um, community is just for the ease of making it visible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set them all, all the profiles to off and then come down to the pilot user and turn on the profile access to the tab. And I'm not going to include the tab in any apps and hit save. Now, if I were to switch over here, it's not there yet. And two things are missing. So one, I need to go to the profile and we're, again, we're staying with the profile for now and you should be moving to permission sets. We're gonna go to the pilot user. We're gonna edit the permissions and we're gonna find the new object and it's the airline training. We're gonna give read, create, and edit to airline training. Now there's one more step left. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the digital experience, go to the all the sites, and we're actually gonna go on settings, or excuse me, we're gonna to go to all the sites. We're gonna to go to the Visual Force portal so this is the digital experience with the Visual Force portal. We're going to go to administration and tabs. And this is why it's really easy. We can just look for airline training and add the tab. So what we're going to do is hit save. And now we can take a look. That now the tab is showing up. So there is the tab for airline training and there are no records here.
And now this user could even clone it. And we're creating another clone. And so I've now just created two extra, a couple of clones. And if I go back to the tab, I can see these records. So I can see multiple records inside of the Visual Force tab for one record that was created internally and the other two that I created as the community user. Now, if I navigate to Steve's Airlines, I can see the three records under there. The first one is owned by me, Steve Simpson, but the second ones were owned by Bart Simpson. So this shows that the high volume customer community user is the owner. The challenge is then they cannot be easily placed for sharing inside. So that's where we're gonna to move to the sharing group. We're gonna edit the airline training and here is the sharing set we created. And now there is a tab on the sharing group. Let me go back in. So settings, we're gonna see airline training. We're gonna be able to go to the sharing group. And now we can edit the sharing group. We can choose who we are going to share this. So we're at this runway group and we are now gonna share it or we could share it with a role or we could share it with roles and subordinates. So this gives me the ability to take and any group in any of these options, public groups, roles, users, and I can sh take any records owned by this sharing group and share it there. And so this is very powerful and we're gonna activate it. And so that is our ability to take that sharing set and those records which had an owner of high volume customer community which aren't in the role hierarchy and I can go ahead and share those over. So these two records that were created by an external user are now visible to internal users who may not have had them due to record level sharing. So this is a special case where you're working with high volume customer community users and you wanna share certain records with them. The sharing sets are very helpful. Just be careful, there are a significant amount of limitations. When you have those records that they might create, when you saw me clone those, then the question is, how are those shared back inside if a user doesn't already have full rewrite access? If you have that as a private object and you wanna control the sharing, that's when you'll use the sharing group. So two mechanisms, targeted for high volume customer community users. Hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed today's setting the share. Join us again, same bad time, same bad channel. Make sure you subscribe to Steve Tech Arc at YouTube channel and www.stevetecharc.com and have a great day.